Peggy 16. Welcome to Mordheim City of the Dam's first gameplay demo. This game is a tactical action game with RPG elements inspired by the Games Workshop's iconic tabletop game, launching its early access campaign on Steam in November. In this demo, you'll see a multiplayer game between five human mercenaries from the Reichland and five members of the Cult of the Possessed. As you can see in the corner of the screen, this is a pre-alpha version and does not represent the final quality of the game. Mordheim features an intuitive ladder system for a more dynamic gameplay experience than usual turn-based games meaning each unit is activated according to their initiative ratio. The blue dots you can see at the bottom left represent the movement pool. Each time a unit crosses a blue line, it consumes one of them. Some actions can also be triggered by using those points. The red ones represent the offense points and are used to perform attacks and cast offensive spells. Willing to stand at a vantage point to make good use of his ranged weapons, the captain will try to leap here. Not an easy task with his heavy armor equipped. Squishy, the Warlock has suffered some wounds from a previous battle and is now walking with a peg leg. Because he can't be too adventurous without knowing the position of his enemy, he'll just have to stay here for now, hidden in this house. Before moving, the Magister is casting the Blade of Destruction spell on the Dark Soul. This buff imbues the target's weapons with dark magic, increasing the damages by 10% against other enemies and ignoring 5 points of armor absorption. As for every action, spells have a chance of failure in Mordheim. The Magister will try to use a perception skill to discover the traps and enemies surrounding him. Unfortunately for this time, he fails. This brawling unit is called the Possess. The player will strategically place him in front of his Magister to protect him and leave him with some action points so that he is able to counter attack. Mordheim's story campaign features an authentic narrative over multiple maps across the city, but skirmish mode is comprised of procedurally generated maps so that each game is fresh, rewarding exploration. However, you can still pick from a pool of unique maps. Now we're about to witness a ranged duel between the mutant armed with a bow and the mercenary captain equipped with dual pistols. Ranged weapons have to be reloaded after every shot. Each warband can have one unique impressive unit. The Cult of the Possessed features this huge chaos spawn. This fearsome creature will stand by the weak mutant unit and use an ambush stance to lure any approaching enemy into a deadly trap. Death in Mordheim is permanent once you receive injury and at the end of the match learn your unit's fate. If they should die, there's no going back. There are only so many eyes and limbs a unit can lose before they're out. The fierce warrior will try to avenge the blow given to his captain by an apparently easy to kill mutant. But as we know, that might not be as easy as it seems. With enough action points in his reserve, the Chaos Spawn has no trouble getting rid of the threat. In Mordheim, City of the Damned, unit placement is crucial, and could dictate the fate of your entire warband. With one unit down, the player controlling the human mercenaries will use his marksman to set up a crossfire with the help of his captain. Unfortunately, he misses the shot and is not able to pin down the mutant with a knee shot. Let us introduce to you the Mercenary Ogre. The Human Mercenary's impressive unit packs some serious strength. After every battle, you'll be able to upgrade the units in your warband, hire more, and of course, adjust their attributes, weapons, and armor to match your tastes and tactics. Don't grow too attached, however, as there's a chance the next battle will be their last. Since the Possessed spare some action points earlier in this round, he can counter-attack, but he is definitely not a match for the big guy and is being put down. Once the unit is out of action, it will have to wait until the end of the battle to learn its fate. Simple injury, crippling ones, or even death awaits. Only time will tell. Now let's see what this dark soul with enchanted weapons has up its sleeves. Uh -oh. 
Ouch, that's a crucial blow. Not enough to drop the tough guy, though. With his vantage point, the captain does not risk much from the chaos spawn, so he chooses to take out the mutant first. Left completely off the radar of the possessed warband, the warlock is ready to do some massive damage using his AoE spell, Fireball. And that's enough damage to take out the mutants. Now he's going to put himself under the protection of the mercenary ogre. But the Cold of the Possessed benefits also from an AoE spell, and this one does not even include friendly fire. The Magister spell is called Word of Pain and can hit really hard. Well, at least when the casting succeeds. Now let's see what this Chaos Spawn is up to. Willing to bring back some balance between the two warbands, he's going after the Marksman. Leaving the poor guy no chance to survive, facing the devastating claws of this impressive unit. And back to our big guy, with his three attacks, the Dark Soul might not see another day. That lucky miss gives some hope to the possessed player, but the mercenary ogre is switching weapons and chooses to use the special overpower skill. Well, looks like the Dark Soul made it this time. Let's see how he's going to use that extended time on the battlefield. Another crucial hit. That is an incredible turn of events, and the momentum is switching from the mercenaries to the possessed. Clever move here. Engaging the Warlock forces the human player to spend some extra movement points to disengage. With no target in range, the captain will leave his vantage point by attempting a perilous jump. After reloading, the captain decided not to take another action. Does he have a plan to save the day? The warlock has to be cautious to avoid being caught in his own fireball here. The Dark Soul got downed, but its previous move forced the Warlock to spend some strategy points to disengage, leaving the magic user with limited options in terms of retreat. Vengeance is a dish served with pain, and variety is not really this Magister's cup of tea. Out in the open, the ranged specialist captain is in all kinds of trouble, especially facing this monstrous creature. And there goes our little fella. With the mercenary warband down to one unit, they have to perform a route check to verify the remaining character won't leave the battlefield. As a desperate attempt, our brave warlock is trying to set one more time the chaos spawn on fire. Unfortunately, this time the spell fizzles. Willing to showcase the whole range of its diverse talents, the Magister is going to attack the Warlock in melee. That should hurt. Looks like we've got a winner of this epic battle. And that concludes our gameplay demonstration for today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for some more footage of Mortime City of the Damned.